the idea of the Venus Master Practicum is the hands-on training that uh, is available. What we do is we take American doctors that are interested in venous disease down to the Dominican Republic where we have a relationship and then allow them to do cases on patients while they're being supervised by, by you know, so-called experts, us, uh, who've been doing this for a while. But the, the main issue that in the United States, after a doctor finishes his formal training, his residency, and gets into his daily practice, if, if a new technology or something comes out, there's really no mechanism for someone to train on, on a new technology. So in 2005, Dr. Julian Javier, he and I went down and kind of checked things out, so to speak. And here we are now, we've been doing it for five years, two courses a year, so we just did our eighth or ninth one last week. It's been very well received, it's always full. I mean, we take a maximum of eight doctors and pair them up and they rotate. There's three instructors, myself, uh, Dr. Ed Mackey and Dr. Julian Javier. To get information on it, one can go through my website, miamibainscenter.com. There's links to the, uh, to the education drop-down menu. There's links to the International Bank Congress, or a big one, and to the Dominican Republic hands-on course, which are small group courses. Through the conference management company that I use that uh, is responsible for the CME credits, it's an accredited course, and one gets uh, 29.5 CME credits for being down there and they are complete conference management. So that website is www.ccmcme.com and the Dominican course is on there. Every time we go down there, we screen a couple, two, three hundred people. The beauty of the course is that it was designed to be win-win so that everyone benefits. So American doctors that are looking for training go down there and get hands-on training on, on, on great patients. The patients is in a, it's an impoverished third world country. These people don't even have doctors, they don't have anything, and it's real obvious when you see them. So they're getting free care. So there is a humanitarian piece to it. You know, one could argue, well, you know, we're, we're getting paid from the American doctors, or it's, it's not completely altruistic on, on our behalf, and I'm not saying that it is, but at the end of the day, the patients get treated gratis with the most modern technology there is. The doctors doing the procedures may not be the most experienced, but we're looking right over their shoulders, so everything goes right, and these people do well. We've yet to have a major complication in hundreds of patients treated. So there's a complete oversight, just like a residency program. You know, the, the residents aren't the most experienced, but they've got a professor watching over them. It's the same setup. One of the parts of the course on the first day is to show our trainees how to identify a patient, how to really look at them with ultrasound and start to really map them out with ultrasound. So that first day we will screen about 200 people and putting them into different slots, so to speak, based on, on what they need. Uh, as far as actual major surgeries, you know, it's going to be about 20 or 30 that get that. Then there's smaller procedures that we do, like ultrasound guided sclerotherapy, probably 50 or 60 will get that, and then there's the spider vein treatments, which is cosmetic, but the, you know, the women jump all over it, about 50, 60 of those will get done. Um, and that's kind of the idea, you know, so that when they come back to the United States and, and get back into their practice, they've already gone through a, a learning curve, so to speak, and they're a little more prepared to take on you know, new patients and new technology in the American arena, which there's more oversight, more demanding, the patients are much more demanding, and, and it's, just, it's just a different world as we all know, it's a litigious world here. So The nice thing about the course is that the facilities uh, that we stay at are in Casa de Campo, which is a world-class resort that's on the beach. It's, uh, world-renowned for its golf courses, uh, the most famous one called Teeth of the Dog, and people have been coming around the world, from around the world to play that course since the 60s. So it was the original 
resort down there. Now, of course, there's Punta Cana, Capcan, and these other type places, but it was the, the original. And our uh, quarters are in Casa de Campo. So we, you know, we have, you know, a nice environment uh, to sleep in and, and eat in, and we do our morning lectures there. And then we all hop on a, uh, a bus and literally a mile and a half out of the Casa de Campo uh, complex, we are rapidly in a third world country. And then the clinic is, is in La Romana, which is five minutes away. Our living arrangements while they're there are very comfortable. And then the actual training piece is in a third world country. You know.